Welcome to InfoPlus Medics. Dear viewers, when a patient is informed about a cancer diagnosis, it is a devastating and challenging moment. Therefore, some viewers, especially those whose loved ones are currently battling such diseases, may find this information distressing. It is important to note that these details are presented based on extensive medical research, facts, years of treatments and the eventual outcomes or results. In this video we will be talking about oligodendroglioma, a type of primary brain tumor, its cause, diagnosis, prognosis and treatments, etc. Oligodendroglioma Oligodendroglioma is a type of primary brain tumor that arises from oligodendrocytes, a type of glial cell in the central nervous system. These tumors are classified as grade 2 or grade 3 by the World Health Organization, with grade 2 being less aggressive than grade 3. Diagnosis Diagnosing oligodendroglioma involves a combination of imaging studies and a biopsy to examine the tumor tissue. Common diagnostic methods include imaging studies, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI and computed tomography. CT scans are used to visualize the tumor's location, size and characteristics. Biopsy a sample of the tumor is obtained for pathological examination to determine its grade and molecular characteristics. Genetic testing Oligodendrogliomas are often associated with specific genetic mutations, such as the 1P-19Q codeletion. Genetic testing may be performed to provide additional information about the tumor and guide treatment decisions. Treatment options Surgery the primary goal is to remove as much of the tumor as safely possible. Complete removal may be achievable for some grade 2 tumors, but grade 3 tumors are more likely to recur. Radiation therapy. After surgery, radiation therapy may be recommended to target any remaining cancer cells and reduce the risk of recurrence. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, often with the drug temozolomide, may be used in conjunction with radiation therapy. In some cases, the 1P19Q co-deletion status may influence the choice of chemotherapy. Prognosis and survival rates. The prognosis for oligodendroglioma varies based on factors such as tumor grade, extent of surgical resection, and molecular characteristics. Grade 2 oligodendroglioma, these tumors tend to have a better prognosis than grade 3. With complete surgical removal, some patients may experience long-term survival. Grade 3 oligodendroglioma, these tumors are more aggressive and despite treatment recurrence is common. The 1P19Q co-deletion is associated with a better response to chemotherapy and a more favorable prognosis. Survival rates for oligodendroglioma can vary, with some patients surviving for many years. Regular follow-up and monitoring are crucial to detect any signs of recurrence or progression. Challenges and considerations Oligodendrogliomas can be challenging to completely remove due to their infiltrative nature. The genetic profile, especially the 1P19Q co-deletion status, plays a role in determining treatment strategies and predicting outcomes. Clinical trials. Participation in clinical trials may provide access to experimental treatments and contribute to ongoing research aimed at improving outcomes for patients with oligodendroglioma. Individual cases can vary, and treatment plans should be tailored to the specific characteristics of each tumor and the overall health of the patient. It is important for individuals diagnosed with oligodendroglioma to work closely with a multidisciplinary healthcare team to determine the most appropriate treatment approach for their specific case. Remember, as medical treatments continue to advance, various countries adopt distinct treatment methods and in some instances treatment protocols may undergo changes. It is strongly recommended to stay informed and seek updated medical advice to ensure the most current and effective healthcare practices. Thank you for watching. Please write your experiences in the comment section. The information provided here is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have read or heard in this content. If you think you may have a medical emergency, call your doctor or emergency services immediately.